Hans, I'm Arya from Belgium. I came here three months ago for my facial feminization surgery and right now I'm back for my second facial grafting that I did yesterday. Um, so now I'm going to show you a little tutorial to show you how you do your makeup best after your surgery. So we're going to moisturize my face with this. It's ID, it's ID skincare line and it's very good. Now I'm going to use Fix Plus and then I'm going to use this bunny. Um, we're going to start with um, Skin Refined Zone by MAC. It's to keep the oily part of your face matte all day so that you don't look greasy so like in the oilier parts like my nose and then we're going to use face and body from MAC it's a very natural foundation you can use it on your body too it's very sheer so it's best to keep it natural and to know to what to cover like you just have to cover the right places blend in sections right now I just had facial grafting so I have to be careful that's why I'm using a sponge because normally I will use a brush I'm going to use clearly corrective from Kills it's to brighten the under eye and it will help to cover the So as you can see, most of the bruising is gone, but I still gonna put a little concealer where it's needed. So these are my concealers, both from MAC, Pro Longwear. This is um, NWE 20 and this is NC20 and I'm going to mix these two I don't really have to cover my um, forehead scars because they are really not permanent as you can see scars are not visible they healed very fast like I was very surprised by how fast it healed but it's a perfecting powder by MAC so I'm going to use this powder to set my under eye it's um, a yellow undertone so that's gonna help with the purple of the bruising and it's also going to help brighten and set the concealer in place. So now I'm going to set the rest of my face with Studio Fix Powder by MAC. And this is a foundation powder so you can um, focus it more on the bruised parts and the scarves that you have so you can put it lightly on the parts where you don't really have bruising I'm going to use blush I'm going to use blush brush by Real Technique and just on the apples very lightly because I'm going to use 
another blush, a more pink one also. Because here in Korea, um, pink and red are very popular for makeup. So put a little on my nose. So now that I finished the blush, I'm going to use highlighter and this is a very nice highlighter by Sleek. I'm going to use this orange color fan brush. Just very lightly, not too much. And I also use highlighter on my nose but not too much so now that I finished the base makeup I'm going to use um, fix plus again just to just to get rid of the power powder finish this is going to give like more of a natural skin like finish So now I'm going to set my eyes with the same powder that I used before. Right before you put eyeshadow, you always want to set your eyes with some skin-like color. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use this contour color just to define my eyes a little more just in the crease now I'm going to use this peach color um, you can always use blushes as eyeshadow for a more natural look Pink and red eyeshadow are very popular here, so that's why I made this decision. And then highlight the inner corners in the brow bone with the orange color. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to use this mascara from MAC. It's a very good one for volume. I ruined it. So as you can see, all my bruising and scars are gone, even though I don't really have scars because under my nose it's not visible and my forehead is not visible either and I always put my hair like this. If you had um, veiling surgery only, then you only have stitches in your mouth, then I would recommend to wait one to two weeks to apply makeup on your forehead just um, to prevent infections because if the stitches are still there it, they have to be clean because they have to be removed after one to two weeks okay so now I'm going to do my lips I'm going to use this lip liner by MAC it's called Stonely Stylish it's a pro longwear um, pencil by MAC and I always use it before other lip liners because this is um, a similar color to my own lips so 
It's easy to overline my lips with this color. Now I'm going to use um, these two lipsticks by MAC. It's one is called Angel and the other one is called Hmm. So I'm going to start with Angel. Okay, so right now I finished my makeup. Um, so this is a little tutorial for your aftercare makeup after your surgery. I hope you liked it and that you learned something today. So if you have any more questions, then you can always um, ask on WhatsApp, Instagram, DM. We will be glad to help you. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye everyone.